Bank gets more sad news as a South African terrorist has died in a hot air balloon crash in Egypt. Twelve other terrorists were injured in the accident near Luxor, more than 400 miles south of Cairo, on Friday morning. There are reportedly, or two of them, are reportedly in a serious condition. The balloon was traveling over the ancient city when it was forced off course and into a mountainous area of, by strong winds. Twenty people were on board the flight, including a number of foreign nationals along with Egyptian tourists. It comes almost five years after 19 tourists were killed when a hot air balloon caught fire in Luxor. Twenty seventeen was a challenging year for Nigerian tech startups, but they are optimistic that twenty eighteen will be a better year for the ecosystem. Economic growth across the continent and speeding up of the innovation is expected this year. Well, joining us to talk more on this is the co director of Lagos Chapter Startup Grind, Blessing Abeng. Many thanks for joining us on the program. What would you say was the most impactful moment for startups in twenty seventeen and why? Well, in 2017, a lot of startups decided to, a lot of people decided to open their minds to owning businesses, and those that already own businesses looked forward to getting more sponsors. Some of the people that tried during this period would be Piggy Bank, Haystack, and a lot of other coming up entrepreneurs. I think Tony Lumelu Foundation has done a great job in helping people find out their startup strengths and work towards it. So I think very much. January. January was a very great time for us. And then towards the end of the year as well was also very awesome. Now, do you agree that the level of support for startups locally is quite poor? It's quite poor, but then we can't discount the fact that a lot of people are coming up to assist in one way or the other. As I said, as I mentioned earlier, Tony Lubilo Entrepreneurship has been a very, Entrepreneurship Foundation has been a very great support for about a thousand businesses in Africa. And Nigeria specifically, we get the highest amount of that um, allocation. And a couple of um, government parastatas and government organizations are picking up this to take it really seriously. We also have BOI, we have um, African Development Bank, we have DBN, Development Bank of Nigeria. A lot of people are taking this really, really seriously. So no, I would not say it's poor, but I would say it's getting a lot better than it used to be. Okay, you say it's getting a lot better, but how would you rate the level of startups in 2017 in terms of scaling their businesses? Okay, so I would put that on a three. Three because as, as co-director of Startup Grand Lagos, we've been able to interact with a lot of people and speak to a lot of people and a lot of startup directors especially. And we discovered that a lot of them have difficulties in scaling their businesses. But we are lucky to have people like High Growth Africa come across to have them conversations about how to scale. A lot of times it's not about the money or people not having um, the right support. It's about people not having the correct skills to be able to effectively scale their business. For example, one big situation we have noticed is overcapitalization. Overcapitalization is when you get a large influx of money and then you spend it on too many things that you probably do not need. For example, we are up to keeping up a facade you get $10,000 in investment, and the first thing that comes to your mind is why not rent an office space? And next thing, you want to buy a laptop. And a lot of times, you really do not need some of the things you spend a lot of money buying. So the whole scalability process is poor planning. It's as a result of poor planning and poor skills, less of finances. Now, this is a new year, of course, and it comes with new innovations which are expected how, what would you advise startups to do differently this year? First things first, I think people should reduce the level of searching for investment. So, yes, it's a glamorous thing to do. Everybody's looking for foreign investors, a lot of investors, all about the investors. But then we fail to look inward to see how we can generate the appropriate income we need or appropriate capital we need to start our businesses. So, just... To think that um, investment is something a lot of people look forward to, but it's not as glamorous as it looks. 
And a lot of people have come to realize that while they're in their third, fourth year of business. So if you can come with them, um, if you can come in contact with any better way to raise finances as opposed to just searching for investment, you should go right ahead and do that. So it might be that you might have to work for a while. It might be that you might have to do a different business that will lead you to generate the sums that you're looking for to reinvest in another business. So these are little things people need to um, put into consideration. Another thing would be to develop better skills and attend events that would help you develop these skills and take networking really seriously. I realize that a lot of people are so concerned about cold selling their businesses. So they're always in your face, always trying to cold sell and you're less concerned about developing relationships. Put relationship first before cold selling your business because every single thing you need is just a relationship away from you. Co-director, Lagos Chapter of Startup Grind, Blessing Abeng. Thanks for your time on Network Africa and do have a great weekend.